Ernesto Perez Jr. and I'm going to be running the La Jolla Half Marathon. Uh, getting up for me has definitely got to be the hardest part of training. Uh, just getting the motivation to get up and go on a five mile, six mile, seven mile run. It definitely takes a lot of like dedication and it's not something that comes easily or naturally to me. I signed up on January 29th and I'm gonna be running it on April 24th, 2016. Giving me a 12 week schedule to train and become marathon ready. Running this half marathon is never something that I thought I would be able to do. Um, I was born with a condition called club foot and essentially what that is is uh, when I was born my feet weren't straight. They were actually bent in and the doctors actually tried to straighten them out with just, put by, just by putting casts um, on it for long periods of time but that wasn't working. Um, whenever they removed the cast it would just uh, snap back into place. So. Um, the doctor eventually decided to um, perform surgery when I was nine months old. Now I, my feet are pretty straight for the most part. Um, they're still a little bit curved. You can see like some of the lines I have, some of the scars I've left from the surgery. And my feet, they're better, but they're not 100%. Uh, they never have been and they never will be. But um, they're definitely like, great like they're a blessing like I can walk I can run um, I can do a lot of things it's just uh, my feet are weak they're, they're really fragile I've had a lot of injuries in the past uh, in regards to my feet I have broken toes uh, I've broken bones in my foot uh, and actually my most recent um, injury was almost exactly a year ago on April 1st of 2015, I went hiking, and as I was on the hike, I stepped on a rock the wrong way, and I just heard a really loud snap. And I was like, oh. <laughs> and the pain shot up through my foot, and uh, it was broken, and I snapped my fourth metatarsal right in half uh, while on the hike, and that put me out for a couple months. And uh, like just, it's just an example of how my feet are fragile and like they're not meant to be doing like out of the ordinary things. I think my biggest fear with this marathon is injury. Uh, I don't want to break anything again. I don't want to injure anything. And I think my biggest concern is having it be something more serious than, um, than I expect. Uh, like maybe having some permanent damage or uh, just something that is avoidable. Uh, that's my biggest fear and it's not something that's going to hold me back. I'm still going to run this marathon, this half marathon. It's something that my parents never thought that I would do. Uh, something that I never thought I would do, my friends never thought I would do. But it's something that, um, it's one of my goals. It's something that I want to prove to myself that despite um, all of the challenges and despite having fragile feet and despite everything, uh, it's something that I want to overcome, it's something that I want to accomplish. The people running have the most positive energy. What? Like, why are all these people happy? <laughs> you know? Like, why is everyone smiling? <laughs> but I don't know, everyone is, everyone's happy to be there, everyone's happy to be running together. Everyone there is doing it for a reason, everyone there has a, a goal. Everyone wants to prove it to themselves that they can do it. So, that's why they're all there. That's why everyone's so happy. If you want to find good people, run a marathon. Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Is here. You look good. You guys, look at me. Keep going. Good job. Woo! Do it for the.
the nachos! Do it for the nachos! My name is Ernesto Perez Jr. and I just ran the La Jolla Half Marathon. I couldn't have done it without the support of my friends and family. Run, Ernesto. Run. <laughs> Por supuesto que le pongo su medalla.